Good morning, dear student. Here we come to our most important session of the UV visible spectroscopy, that is Beer's Lambert's law. Here are some prerequisite before studying the Beer's Lambert's law, that is polychromatic light, monochromatic light, transmittance, and absorbance. What is that polychromatic light means? When a polychromatic ray is passed through a prism, a beam of light is passed through a prism, we will get the different color band and each color band is correspond to a particular wavelength, particular wave correspond to a particular wavelength that is monochromatic light. Poly means number of waves are present in that, chroma means you know that it is color polychromatic different color bands are present and each band correspond to a particular wavelength and monochromatic a single particular wavelength transmittance means it is the ratio of in uh, ratio of transmitted light to the incident light and absorbance will go to that part here when we pass a beam of light through the prism or gratings and then here is the exit slit is present through which we can pass a monochromatic light a single particular wavelength so here is the Beer's Lambert's law before that we need to study that when we pass a beam of light a monochromatic beam of light through a transparent medium, a transparent cell containing molecules of absorbing substance, then what happens? The reduction of the intensity of light may occur and the reason behind that is either scattering of the light, then refraction at the interferences, uh, interfaces and third one is the absorption of light by the molecule. Look at here, when we pass a beam of light through a cell transparent cell. Here we have taken the cuvette transparent cell having the homogeneous thickness. Here when we pass the light through this, the interferences occur at the surfaces of the cell or scattering of the particle or molecule occurs and third one is the absorption of light by the molecule. So, scattering may be avoided by the filtration and refraction at the cell surface can be compensated by using the reference cell containing solvent only or we can use the blank. So, the third absorption of light by the molecule occurs then. I absorb is calculated here. I absorb is equal to I incident minus I transmitted. Intensity I O is the intensity of absorbed light and I T is the intensity of transmitted light and here the transmittance it is the ratio of uh, intensity of transmitted light to the intensity of absorbed light and percent transmittance is the I T by I zero into hundred. So we we'll Lambert's law. When a beam of light is allowed to pass through a transparent medium, a rate of decrease in the intensity of light with the thickness of medium is directly proportional to the intensity of light. Here, that means the Lambert law is when we pass a beam of light through a transparent cell containing a molecule, absorbing molecule, then the rate of decrease in the intensity of light occurs with the thickness of the medium that is path length thickness of the medium that is denoted by B path length B and it is directly proportional to the intensity of light here decrease rate of decrease in the intensity occur so decrease uh, in the intensity so minus sign is there di by db is directly proportional to the intensity of light minus di because uh, Decrease in the intensity of light with the thickness of medium is directly proportional to intensity of light. And 
minus di by db is equal to k into i k is the proportionality constant here i is the intensity of incident light at particular wavelength lambda b is denoted by the thickness of medium and here the k is the proportionality constant after integrating the equation a and putting the values i is equal to i0 and when t is equal to 0 transmittance we get the log of i0 by it is equal to k into b by 2.303 after integrating and finally we will get here uh, the value of log i0 by it we have to put here log of i0 by it is capital A and it is called as absorbance. So A is equal to K into B divided by 2.303. Here A is the absorbance. Next is about the Beer's law. It is observed that Beer's observed that a similar relationship holds between the transmittance and concentration. That is, when intensity of a beam of monochromatic light is passed through a transparent medium, decrease a rate of decrease in the intensity of the light with concentration of the medium is directly proportional to the intensity of light. That means the intensity of monochromatic light decreases minus decreases exponentially with increasing concentration C and is directly proportional to the intensity of light. So, minus di by dc is directly proportional to i intensity of light. Here, i is the intensity of light, c is the concentration, k dash here is the next proportionality constant and after again integrating this equation b and putting the values of i and t here we will get log of i0 by i t is equal to k dash c divided by 2.303. So and you know that a is equal to log of i0 by i t. This is the typical Beer's law here y axis is the absorbance and x axis is the concentration after drawing this uh, graph we will get a straight line from the 0. This is the typical Beer's plot. So, finally, we will come to the Beer's and Lambert's law. Combining equation 1 and combining equation 2, finally, we will get log of I0 by IT is equal to K into K dash BC divided by 2.303 square. And you know that uh, when we put the value of k into k dash uh, divided by 2.303 bracket square as small a, finally we will get log of i0 by it is equal to small a b c and you know that log of i0 by it is equal to capital A. So, the Beer's Lambert's law stands for a is equal to a b c. A is absorbance b uh, Capital A is absorbance, small a is absorptivity, B is path length and C is the concentration. B is the thickness of the medium and C is the concentration of the medium. So, in Beer's law, concentration is directly proportional to absorbance as concentration increases, absorbance value increases. And about the path length, we use the homogeneous thickness of the medium. We use matching cells cuvette. So, path length is always 1. So, the relation between the absorbance and transmittance A is equal to log of 1 by T is equal to negative log of T and is equal to 2 minus log of percent T. After putting this value percent T is equal to I t by I0 into 100, finally we will get this 2 minus log of percent t. So, this is the relation between absorbance and transmittance. A is equal to log of 1 by t, the relation between absorbance and the transmittance. So, finally we will get the equation Beer's Lambert's law A is equal to A B C 
A is the absorbers, small a is the absorptivity, B is the path length and C is the concentration. Here absorptivity is the value of absorptivity and the name of absorptivity it totally depends upon the concentration here when uh, absorptivity is become specific absorbance a 1% 1 cm it is called a 1% 1 cm when concentration is in gram per 100 ml so a the equation this equation becomes a is equal to a 1% 1 cm into bc so specific absorbance is the absorbance at a particular wavelength having uh, a particular wavelength of the uh, of the medium having concentration 1 gram per 100 ml at 1 cm path length and absorptivity becomes molar absorptivity or molar extinction coefficient epsilon it is epsilon when concentration is in moles per liter so the equation becomes capital A is equal to epsilon BC so molar absorptivity is the absorbance of a particular solution uh, having the concentration in moles per liter at particular wavelength having the path length 1 centimeter that is molar absorptivity and there is a relation between the epsilon and the a 1% 1 centimeter that is between the molar absorptivity and the uh, specific absorbance so epsilon is equal to a 1% 1 centimeter into molecular weight divided by 100 is the relation between this a 1% 1, 1 centimeter and epsilon this is about the beers lambert's law so next is the deviations to this beers law there is no deviation to lambert's law only there are deviations observed in the beers law why no deviation in the lambert's law because we use the transparent cell the matching cell cuvette having the homogeneous thickness so there is no deviation to Lambert's law the deviation to Beer's law, law uh, when we plot a graph of concentration versus absorbance some deviations to that law occurs the deviations like concentration uh, concentration solution when we use concentrated solutions instead of direct solution what happens the molecule in the solution they may react, they may interact with each other and the collision between uh, them occur and because of that uh, all molecules will not absorb the light in same manner as they want to. and that causes the decrease in the absorbance as the concentration increases so will not obey the Beer's law and that is called as true deviations next is the instrumental deviation First is the broad band of wavelength. So path length, uh, the web, uh, slit width. If you go here, here is the exit slit, and from that monochromatic light will pass. If we use instead of that small band width. If we use a broad band of wavelength, uh, if we use a uh, instead of monochromatic light, if uh, polychromatic light is passed through the medium, that causes the deviations to Beer's law. We have to particularly select a narrow band of wavelength should be passed through the solution. Next is about the stray light reaching to, to the detector because of the stray radiations that may cause the deviation to Beer's law. Sensitivity changes in the detector also deviate the Beer's law.
fluctuation in the radiation source, stray light, all these are the deviations to Beer's law, instrumental deviations to Beer's law. And the final one is the chemical deviation where the molecule uh, in the solution, they react, they uh, causes the uh, deactivation of the molecule. Uh, some molecule get uh, uh, divided into two species and if two species get divided, both are having the different absorptivity value. One uh, absorb at different absorptivity value and one species uh, absorb at different, uh, uh, different value because of the chemical because of the uh, interaction between the two chemical or interaction uh, be between the molecule and the solvent which used in the UV spectroscopy and uh, th that may occur and that causes the decrease in the absorbance we have to particularly uh, when this occur when we use the acidic or basic solution instead of that we have uh, we need to use the buffer solution so that uh, molecule will not split into different species and that causes the difference in absorptivity so this is about the chemical deviations so today we learned about the beers lambert's law which is the most important part of the uv visible spectroscopy and uh, the deviations to that beers law thank you so much